Hello, my name is Roger Van Pelt for the Fresno Commodore Users Group. Welcome to everyone at the Commodore Los Angeles Super Show. Uh, today we're going to be converting GigaCAD files into wavefront object files for use on modern 3D graphics programs. Uh, GigaCAD Plus is a 3D graphics creation program for the Commodore 64 and 128 in C64 mode and the Ultimate 64. It was written in Germany by Stefan Vilsmar and Stefan Nipstru in 1986. Today we're going to convert some models created in GigCAD Plus in the 1980s to files that can be loaded into a modern 3D suite. For this demo, we'll be using Blender 3.1.2 on a Windows 10 PC, GigaCAD Plus, Windows Command Prompt, uh, Python 3.10.4 and two command line projects for converting the models into wavefront object files. Uh, the first file is a Python script by Jens Restemeyer called gigacad to obj.py. It requires Python 3 or above, available from python.org. Uh, the second is an executable for Windows command prompt by Mr. Joso called objcom.exe. And both converters are available at github.com. Thanks very much to you programmers. Uh, so once we have Python 3 installed on the PC, you need to create a working folder and put your GigaCAD plus files into it. So here we have working folder and I put them into Giga GigaCAD uh, tests. Okay, and then put the file converters, uh, once you've downloaded them, uh, into the same working folder. So we have GigaCAD to obj, the Python script, and the executable objcom. Okay, and first we'll try the Python script. Okay, so this works in the command prompt or Linux terminal. The commands are the same. Open the command prompt and navigate to your working folder. So we have the command prompt here. And uh, okay, now I'm going to go into the directory for my working folder. So, this will copy this and change directory, paste, enter. Okay. Now I'm going to enter the command python3 gigacad to obj.py object file name dot seq. So. Okay, enter, and there should be a new file now in the working folder. And we have shift.obj. So now we're going to open this in Blender. First, we'll delete the default cube object. Then go to File, Import, Wavefront, OBJ, 
navigate to your working folder and then select shift.obj and then adjust the clamp size to about 30 and let's change up to negative Z and that'll account for the differences in orientation and scaling between the two applications. Import the object. Okay. And there's our ship. And uh, so we can view it from the camera's perspective. Rotate it around and look at it. We can now edit this modify it, um, animate it, or convert it into other file formats. Let's see, orthographic or perspective. And uh, keeps the objects separate here. You can edit the individual vertexes. The vertexes for each polygon are kept separate. Let's see. We can change the material, of course. Let's see. And uh, let's try a render. Okay, now we can see what the render looks like in the original GigaCAD version and what the Blender version looks like rendered. And uh, let's see, so we'll close this. Okay, now let's have a look at it in the 3D view in Blender. We can compare the two models here. Let's uh, go ahead and render it. Okay, so now let's have a look at the second project, Objcom. We go new, general, don't see. And delete the queue. Okay, let's minimize this for now. Okay, so we're already uh, in the working folder, and we need to enter the command obj c o n v. Okay. 
and ob dot um, okay. let me check something here Enterprise dot S E Q and then this is an executable, it doesn't rely on Python. Um, it only works in, in Windows. Let's see. It does require a file output name. So we'll go um, Enterprise at OBJ. Hit enter. And here you can see all the vertices, the vertices that have uh, been converted. And the output is enterprise.obj. Go into Blender, import wavefront.obj, navigate to the working folder, enterprise.obj is selected, and again, adjust the clamp size to say about 26, and negative z up, import obj, and let's scale it a little more, okay, and we have the enterprise as originally rendered in GigaCAD in the 1980s, and uh, Of course, you can modify it however you need to. And now this can be exported if you want to um, any of these file formats, including .stl, if you wanted to um, make it 3D printable. Okay. Okay, so here is the Enterprise unrendered in wireframe mode in GigaCAD and uh, in Blender in the 3D view. Again, we can compare them. Wireframe and Blender. simple model but um, it was um, quite a feat to model something like this on the C64 back in the 80s and then now I have something else to show you that uh, you can do with these objects once they've been converted to a .stl so we'll go ahead and close this out And here is a 3D object created in GigaCAD in the 1980s that was converted uh, using the objcom.exe uh, program and then adapted to be printed out in, uh, in a 3D printer, uh, exported as a .stl file, and rendered as you see here. So I think it's very interesting that you can actually do this. Um, that's a lot of detail 
uh, a lot of polygons for a Commodore 64 to be able to handle. It's pretty amazing that they can do that. Well, so there are some limitations to the Objcom uh, executable. Uh, it was intended originally by the author to be able to uh, convert GigaCAD plus files to .stl files in order to be able to 3D print them. They decided that it would be easier to have it convert them to wavefront.obj files uh, for editing in a modern 3D graphics program and then export it from there as a .stl. Um, probably a good decision, but it does have some limitations uh, compared to the uh, earlier Python script that I showed. Um, so the, the model that you use it with in GigaCAD has to lend itself uh, to work with a script. Some work better, some don't. Uh, this one looks like it, it represents a fairly solid object. I imagine that, that this, uh, with its many more uh, quad polygons, makes it so that it's easier to render than something with a lot of uh, circles and, uh, you know, like poles or things that, that uh, project out from it like that it might be a little harder to 3D print, I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, this one obviously converted very well. And good job, I mean. Uh, excellent work to both of the programmers, and thanks very much for making these available to us uh, at github.com. And it's really fun to play around with them. Thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed uh, the demonstration and have fun at Los Angeles Commodore uh, Super Show. The Commodore Los Angeles Super Show.